is a test for the horizontal canal, the superior vestibular nerve, and it's the head impulse test. So again, you want to be about arm's length away from your patient. Keep your eyes on the tip of my nose, Kelly. Big hands above the ears, firmly on the skull. And keep your eyes right on my nose. Tip the head down about 20, 30 degrees. Get her to relax. And then an unpredictable thrust. And after the thrust, you're observing to see if the patient's eyes are on the tip of your nose. This needs to be done in an unpredictable manner so the patient doesn't know which way you're going to go. So that's a head impulse test. The test we're going to demonstrate is the heave test. It's a test of utricular function. So we're going to have the patient with the tip of my nose. It's helpful to have the patient drape their arms, their hands over your forearms. And just keep your eyes right on the tip of my nose. Good. And you just apply a translation to the head. Good. Compare left to right, make it unpredictable. Just a quick translation. And it doesn't all have to come from the patient's neck. Translate their head fixed on their trunk a bit. And you're looking to see if they can keep their gaze pinned on the tip of your nose. An abnormal test would be the patient's eyes moving with their head, and then having to make an adjustive saccade back to your nose. I'm going to demonstrate a test for the inferior vestibular nerve. This is a posterior canal head thrust test. So again, Kelly's eyes are on the tip of my nose. I'm going to hold her head, bring her down, and the way I like to do it is hands big, above the ears, firm on her skull, and we just oscillate a little bit to get her to relax, and then a quick thrust in the plane of her posterior canal. So this would be for the left side, and that would be for the right. And that's, a, again, an assessment of the patency of the inferior vestibular nerve.